All right, we know you've seen the trailers. We know you've seen the blaster cosmetics included in the deluxe edition. You're playing Jedi Survivor and you're wondering, when do I get a blaster? Don't worry, we're here to tell you exactly when you can expect to start winning shootouts across the Outer Rim in Star Wars Jedi Survivor. Many of the core unlocks in the game are impossible to miss, so the fastest way to unlock the blaster stance is to make sure you're following the main story. After completing the Forest Array mission on Kobo, you can return to the Mantis and head for Jeddah, where you'll fight your way back to Seer's outpost. Once you make it back there and the gang catches up for the first time in years, Cal will be tasked with going to two different locations. As you make your way back to the Mantis to leave, Bode will step forward and offer you his trusty blaster to help you get through tough situations. And that's it! You now have the blaster stance. This stance uses one lightsaber blade in one hand and your blaster in the other, sort of similarly to how we think of pirates using firearms and swords at the time. Cal even uses his saber like a rapier or cutlass type sword. Shooting depletes your ammo bar on the left and attacking with your saber replenishes your ammo. Get some practice in on the nearby Stormtrooper dummy before setting off on the rest of your adventure. Blaster in hand. Oh, and one final quick tip here. If you want to unlock the other new stance for the game sooner rather than later, we recommend choosing the Shattered Moon as your next location to go to. For more on Jedi Survivor, you can find quick tips like these on IGN, as well as walkthroughs, boss guides, an interactive map and more in our full guide. And for all your other gaming needs, keep it here on IGN.